glorious sunny Croydon in Surrey, was where I came from, as you know, and um, used to journey up to Soho and all that. But it was there, of course, that I, I'd seen Ewan McColl from afar at his club in London. Yeah. But I got on the train one morning, I had this job in the city, I was about 17, and I got on the train and there was Ewan on the train in the same compartment. So obviously we started talking. Yeah. yeah. Did he know you or did you, did you start He recognised me, I think, from being a skiffler. You know, yeah. he'd seen me, maybe he'd seen me down at Russell Quay's club or something, oh, yeah. you know. So he, he knew that I played. Because yeah. he said, oh, I've got a guy staying at my house. You ought to come back there, Big Bill Bruins. I, like, oh. really? I, I, I mean, I, I was at the stage with a leather jacket with see you later alligator painted yeah. on the back, you know, <laughs> Brunsey. I thought I'd seen th that clip on TV of Brunsey, but yeah. I didn't really. So I didn't go and, go and see him, which of course I should. I'd, I saw him at the Roundhouse later. Yeah. Yeah. But of course, you and influenced us all, didn't he? I mean, yeah. with those BBC radio ballads, the Charles oh, yeah. thing. I got so much inspiration from that. And um, I always w wanted to get into traditional singing and playing, but never did. But I do the odd Ewan McColl song, you know, yeah. the, the famous one about the travelling people. The is it what's it called? The moving on the song. Free, oh, the moving on song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, yeah. Could, we could do that together. Well, yeah. <laughs>
dragon 